There you go. Roasted beet hummus, it's worth trying. Pretty filling too, eh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Early morning, coming out of the cabin, and I'm walking over to our neighbor's place, who are our friends. We're gonna be working, we're getting our training at the poles today. River is flowing. We are gonna be working for Elections Canada. So if you haven't already voted, go out to vote. Hi, bright girl. Hi. Hi, puppy. Hey, girl. Aw, what a nice puppy. Sun is rising. Usually I am not up quite this early. This morning in my Fully Raw bottle, which I got as a gift by the way, I don't know if you can actually buy them. You probably have to go to Christina's Roughly Organic Co-op if you want to get one of these bottles. But what I've gotten here is a mixture of about 20 dates and I've got another bottle too. It's not just this one. 20 small dates that I've soaked in warm water overnight and then I blended them with almond milk and pumpkin pie spices and vanilla and mesquite powder. And I blended it in the Vitamix this morning until it actually got warm because you don't actually have to put hot water in with your smoothies in the Vitamix if you get cold in the winter. You can just blend it longer and it will heat it up. So this is like a fall spice latte. I am so excited to drink this. I'm back from my training this morning for Elections Canada. I've got all of my poll materials ready to work the polls on Monday. Got a nice fire going. It's nice and warm and cozy. It's time to do some computer work. My legs are pretty sore after the hike. 17 kilometers is a new distance for me. I haven't really hiked that far before, especially mostly uphill. So I am resting for most of the day today. I'm taking a little break from my computer work. This is the book I'm reading right now, The Midwife in Venice. I'll probably still end up doing about eight hours of computer work today, but at least I won't be on my legs. <laughs> I think I've earned a rest. I'm trying to film almond milk. Oh, you're showing the Oh, wow. Can Where's you show that again beats? to the camera? Yeah. Beets. Oh. Wow. What They're kind be of beet is that? That's beautiful. I don't know. Local. Local beet. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. are local almonds. <laughs> Not. So first, uh, I'm going to strain the almonds. Put them in there. I've, they've been soaking for a couple of days now. So they're nice and plump. Give them a rinse. Throw them in the good old Vitamix. I make almond milk probably every two days or so. And then I'm gonna throw in water. I fill the Vitamix full of water. Video bomb. <laughs> You're gonna throw. <laughs> Are you brushing? You're washing your broccoli with. Oh god. I made this roasted beet hummus for Ryan. He roasted up the beets that we got from our farmers market. We got the recipe off the Minimalist Baker website and I'll put that in the description below so that you guys can try it. And it's a little bit firm because it's been sitting in the fridge, but what do you think, Ryan? It's freaking delicious. <laughs> it looks like a Christmas decoration. I know, it's, it's I weird because it's it. so pink, but... No, it's it's like, yeah, it's good. Is really the roasted good. beet flavor really strong? or? It's not strong, it's not overpowering. It's, uh, it's just enough beet, just enough chickpea. Okay. Yeah, it's super good. 